Hello, we're gonna be filming a uh, 20 minute yoga stretch tonight, okay? We're gonna get right into it on the mat. Nice and easy here to stretch it out. We'll start in the center of that mat. Those arms will reach up. Let's lean to the left. Come back through center to the right. We're gonna fold forward. Halfway lift. Extending that neck, long spine. Slowly come down. We'll rise up one more time. Arms reach up. Coming side to side. And we'll fold forward into that forward fold. Halfway lift. You extend that neck long. And we slowly fold. We're going to bring those arms up. And we'll widen that stance here, okay? We're going to go right into some lateral lunges. Nice and easy. Reaching across. Getting to those hips. Last one here, we're going to stay down. We slowly move back and forth, stretching out through those hips. My knees are a little cranky from some running. <laughs> and slowly come back through center, wide legged forward fold. We're going to bring the head down, walk those hands over to the left, back through center to the right. And come on back. You're going to walk those hands in behind and slowly walk forward again. We're slowly going to bring those hands onto the hips and come on up. Give those hips a little shake. We're going to come to the back of that mat and go into a few inchworms here. Okay, so those arms will reach up. We fold forward. We walk it out to our high plank position. We walk it back up. Trying to keep those legs straight. Arms reach up. Fold forward, walk it out, and back. Slowly raise up, two more here. Those arms reach up, fold forward, last one here. We come out to that high plank position, let's hold that plank. Hands are right below the shoulders. Slowly bring one knee to the chest and then the other. Nice and easy here. You should be feeling that in the shoulders here and that core. Four, three, two, and one. We're slowly going to lower down to the ground. Do a little back bend here, just bringing those arms off the ground. Slowly come down, extend those arms long. Same thing, a little back bend. Just bring the arms off and come down. We'll do that one more time. We'll bring your legs off as well. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on down. Walk those hands back in under the shoulders. I'm gonna push back into a child's pose here. Big toes together, knees wide bringing that forehead down to rest. So some of these poses are going to be a little bit more active, working on some of that core instability. And we'll slowly come back up. We're going to lift those knees, tuck the toes, send the hips back to downward dog. We're trying to bring those heels down to the mat. Pedaling it out if you need. And let's shift those hips forward and through. Plank, back to that downward dog. Two more here. Last one. Slowly walk those hands back towards the feet. We're gonna bring those feet out, okay? Low yoga squat, come on down, sink the hips down, we drive those knees out with the elbows. And slowly raise up, back to that forward fold. 
those arms will reach up one more time and we fold forward let's walk it back out we're in that high plank position squeezing the glutes back to those slow mount climbers bringing the knees up with control our core is engaged here those hips aren't rocking from side to side four three two and one we slowly lower down onto the stomach same sequence as before we're going to lift that chest up little back bend slowly come down extend those arms back bend with the arms lifted slowly come down last one here we're going to bring those legs up as well four three two and one slowly come down those hands come back by the shoulders we're going to send those hips back to child's pose again let's make this child pose a little bit more active so we're reaching those arms forward those elbows are off of the mat you should feel this through your lats and the upper back traps and slowly come back up to that tabletop position hands are going to root in we untuck the toes we're going to come into a bear and this time instead of moving from the plank to down dog we're going to move from bear to down dog okay so you float the knees 90 degrees in the legs back into that bear position if you need to bring the knees down to table that's fine you can always alternate here from table to that downward dog so you should feel a little bit of a release through those hamstrings as you straighten out the legs send the hips back last two one more here and we slowly walk those hands back towards the feet we're going to bring the feet out onto 45 degree angle sink those hips down again low yoga squat driving those knees out and slowly raise up feet come to face the front pause in that forward fold before we come up overhead arms reach up fold forward we're walking it out again back to that high plank position slow mountain climbers four three two and one we're going to lower down i'm going to give you the option here if you want to go right into upward dog or cobra you can and we're slowly going to come back into that downward dog pedaling that out we're going to move through one more flow here so let's bring the hips forward ripple through we lower down you can go into a cobra so you bring the legs down or you can go into an upward dog and we come back downward dog pedal it out we'll do one more flow here ripple through you come up onto those tippy toes slowly lower down we shift forward slightly to come into up dog and then we send the hips back rolling over the toes downward dog From here, we're going to float that left leg up and slowly open it up into a three-legged dog, opening up through the hips. Center that leg again. We're going to bring the knee to nose here, hold here, holding that knee suspended. Four, three, two, let's send it back. And we're going to bring that knee through one more time. And you can plant that foot, drop the back knee here. Those arms will reach up. We're in a low runner's lunge here. You should feel that right in the front of that right hip flexor. Those hands are going to come back down to frame the foot and slowly open up through that left knee. Come back through center. We'll send those hips back getting into a hamstring stretch so you should feel that right in the back of that left hamstring and shift the hips forwards again we're going to bring that foot back to high plank move through our flow we slowly lower down 
shift forward, up dog or cobra, and we roll back, downward dog. We're gonna bring that right leg up this time. First we go into that three-legged dog, so we're opening up through the hip here. We're stacking those hips. You should feel this in the side body. And slowly center those hips again. Bring the knee to nose, hold that knee suspended in space. We're using that core here, the strength of those arms. Four, three, two, and one, send it back. And one more time, bring that knee through, then slowly bring that right foot down. We drop the back knee, those arms reach up. Breathing into that left hip flexor here, opening up through the front of the body. Those hands come back down. We slowly open up through that knee. Hold on for a little bit more space through the hip joint. And bring that foot back. Hands come back down in front of the foot. We'll shift the hips back here, getting into that right hamstring. You don't have to straighten that leg, okay? Just trying to stretch the back of that leg. Slowly come back through center. Those hands come down to frame the foot. Lift that back knee. We're coming back through our high plank. We're gonna go through a flow here. We lower down, shift through slightly, up dog or cobra. Send the hips back, downward dog. Pedaling it out here. We're gonna bring that left leg up again. Bring that knee to the left elbow, across to the right elbow. Back to the left elbow, one more time. Across, back through center, we float it up. And we're gonna bring that leg through for a high lunge. Okay, so we're keeping that right knee off the mat. We're slowly gonna raise up. So a little bit more balance here with that knee off of the ground. That left knee should not be going over the toe. Those hands are gonna come to heart center. We're gonna come into a twist here, so I'm bringing my right elbow outside that left knee. You can always bring that right hand down as well for a more of a supported twist. And we're slowly gonna come back through center, slowly raise up. It's gonna be a little bit of balance here. We're gonna tip forward through the hips, bring that right foot up. Okay, so we're in a warrior three here. Whatever you need your hands right now, I just have them at heart center, they can come to the hips, they can be extended. They can also come down to the ground if you need. And slowly bring that right foot down to meet the left. We're in a forward fold at the top of the mat. Those hands come to shins, halfway lift. Slowly come down, and we'll rise up. Those arms reach up overhead, fold forward. We're gonna step those feet back to high plank. Work through that flow. Cobra or up dog, back to downward dog. Pedal that side out. We're gonna repeat that sequence now on the right. So our right leg will open up. Bring the knee to the right elbow, over to the left elbow, back to the right, over to the left, one more time, back to the right, bring it back up, then we bring that leg through one more time, we're going to rise up out of this high lunge, those arms reach up overhead, so my knee is not going over that front foot, I'm reaching up here. We're gonna repeat that twist so those hands come together at heart center. We bring the left elbow to the outside of that right knee. If you wanna go into a supported twist here, that arm can come down. We open up like so. Slowly bring those hands back. And we're gonna shift forwards here. Okay, that warrior is three. So we come up. Good job, a little bit of balance work here. If you need those hands to come to the ground, you can. 
the right leg is stabilizing as we're floating that left foot up. Good job. And slowly bring that left foot down next to the right and fold forward. Halfway lift. And we're gonna go right into a chair squat here. So we bring those hands up, we sink the hips down. Those big toes can be together. I like having my feet uh, a little bit further apart. And we're gonna fold forward. Halfway lift again. And shift those hips back, chair pose, round two. So we're sending the hips back here. Arms are extended, that chest is proud. Let's get a little bit lower. Good job. Two, and we fold forward. We're slowly going to raise up here. Those arms reach up, bring the hands down. We're going to widen that stance, okay, give those hips a bit of a shake. We're going to bring the heels in, those arms are going to come up into cactus, we're going to come down into goddess pose, then we come up overhead, okay? So we're widening out through those hips, the knees track in line with the toes, the arms come up overhead at the top of that squat, then you bring the arms down. Squeezing those glutes at the top. Last four here. Two, one more, we're gonna come down, we hold. Get in that low squat position. Those arms are up. Option to pick up those heels if you can. Almost there. You can always keep those heels on the ground if you need. And slowly bring the heels down, those arms will come down. We reach up overhead. Let's lean to the left, back through center, to the right, and come on back. Those arms are gonna come down, we're gonna come to the back of that mat again. Walk it out into our high plank position. In that high plank, we tap the knees down, one, two, we walk it back up. Arms reach up, fold forward. Tap those knees, one, two, walk it back up. Two more here. Last inchworm, we come up, fold forward. Walk it out. Tap those knees 10 times for this last one. So you bring those knees down with control. Those lower abdominals are stabilizing us. We tap those knees down and we're slowly gonna bring the knees down. Big toes together into that child's pose. The forehead comes down to rest. Walk those hands over to the left. Come back through center to the right and slowly come back. Take our last few breaths here. And you can slowly shift those hips through into a cobra, press those hips up into high plank, we'll walk the hands back towards the feet, and we slowly raise up. It's just about 20 minutes there of a yoga stretch, a little bit more work than my last stretch, um, so I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much.